the apples that glow along Garstotska's path are said to be the finest anywhere. You'd be halfway to Pannonia by then. But even though the distance has passed quickly, make sure you rest. Because the Bandrika Mountains loom large in the distance. You want to save your energy, and everyone knows you can't tackle the mountains without a satchel full of Arstotska's apples. Be sure to fill your pockets. Arstotska was once one of Pannonia's finest trumpeters, and it is said that when he first tasted the apples that grew wild on this road, he set upon dedicating his life to taming the orchard and the gardens that surround it. If you listen closely, you can hear the sound of his trumpet carried on the wind as he serenades the fruit from his home on Grendel Hill. But do not bother him, for interrupting Garstotska while he is playing is sure to see you banned from the path, forced to use the th road through Verania, which will add three days to your journey. Instead, take a moment and relish in the sound of Garstotska's horn as it floats its way through the orchard, settling between the apple trees, working its way into the roots and the soil. When you reach Pannonia, many will ask if you came by way of Arsotska's path. They will stop you in the street because you are a musician and they will have heard of your impending arrival. Many will beg to be reminded of Arstotska's playing, ask if you can hum a few bars. A few may even point to your own trumpet to have you demonstrate. Arstotska's presence looms large over Pannonia. The Colosseum, the bricks of Naprin Street, the domed roof of Ugaria Hall. It was Arstotska who serenaded the workers, the sound of his horn helping lift the beauty into place. So you see now why these are important apples, why you must not rush. Part of your time in Pannonia will be filled with questions like this, about the music you have collected on your journey, about Kutya's fiddle, 
and their Stutzka's trumpets. Because it is their music that built this place, it is their notes that are passed from one generation to the next. a single apple. You will need it to give it to Piat when reaching the snow-covered peak of the Bandrika Mountains. She's the lookout there. And in the taste of Arstotzka's apples, she can judge harmony and melody and know that all is well in the realm. Josh Deutsch, this beautiful music. Nikki Pankovic, thank, thank you. you.